Prevalence of arachnoiditis in patients with paroxystic trigeminal neuralgia with continuous persistent pain. Trigeminal neuralgia is characterized by an unbearable chronic pain at one side of the face, affecting one or more branches of the trigeminal nerve. According to its etiology, trigeminal neuralgia is classified in classical, secondary, and idiopathic. In addition, two clinical presentations are described, paroxystic attack of pain and paroxystic attack of pain with continuous persistent pain. The last one is also known as atypical trigeminal neuralgia. Up to date, there is no satisfying explanation as to why some patients develop this type of chronic presentation. The objective of this study was to determine the prevalence and describe the inflammatory findings in arachnoid biopsies from patients with atypical trigeminal neuralgia that underwent microvascular decompression. We report 42 cases of atypical trigeminal neuralgia operated at our clinic between January 2014 and December 2018. When microvascular decompression surgery was performed, a viscous spider web-like tissue was seen surrounding the nerve root. We obtained biopsies to analyze them histopathologically. The results. Graphic 1 shows the 42 cases of atypical trigeminal neuralgia attended to our clinic through 5 years. Graphic 2 indicates the pain in atypical trigeminal neuralgia involves all three branches of the nerves in similar proportions. We also reported the involvement of occipital, spinal, and glossopharyngeal nerves. Graphic 3 indicates that most patients that underwent microvascular decompression were between the ages of 30 to 50 years. Graphic 4 shows that few patients promptly attend to neuralgia. Most of them are operated after one year but before 10 years of pain. Chart 5 and 6 indicate the evolution of the patients after surgery. At 3 months, 76% remained pain-free and in 24% the pain was persistent. At the end of this study, 24% remained persistent, 12% became recurrent and a remarkable 64% of patients continued pain-free. Histopathological analysis revealed chronic fibrosis that was classified in mild, moderate, and severe. Dystropic microcalcifications and hyperplasia of neurotheta cells were also observed as seen in figures 1 and 2. Meanwhile, figure 3 shows that hyperplasia and microcalcifications can be associated with the different degrees of fibrosis. The QR code is a link to a video showing the findings of arachnoiditis during microvascular decompression surgeries. In conclusion, histopathological results suggest a high prevalence of chronic inflammatory processes that accompanies the atypical trigeminal neuralgia. To fully explore whether these pathological findings play a role in the etiology and pathophysiology of atypical trigeminal neuralgia, a case control study could be proposed comparing biopsies of patients with typical and atypical presentation of trigeminal neuralgia.